Canadians, uh, people in the world can actually see through that. Not only that the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party, they do not represent China as an entity, um, as a whole, um, all the people under China, but they don't, by, by no means, they actually represent the Chinese people around the world, including in Canada or in the United States of America or elsewhere in the world. So, you know, this is one difference that uh, many people need to keep reminding themselves to, um, to, to prevent from, from many of the uh, anti-Asian uh, racism that we are seeing. The, the Chinese have been, have been a recognized, high, highly developed culture for thousands of years on planet Earth. Um, China has, it, it's, it's one of the highest, the longest uh, civilization there has been. And yet the, the Communist Party was actually something that was introduced, imported into China from Germany, from, from uh, USSR, from Russia. And, and this is a foreign entity that's only been uh, on Chinese soil for I think a hundred years. And, and so, you know, the educated Canadians would understand, um, you know, Chinese Canadians or not, that the Chinese Communist Party does not equate Chinese and definitely not cannot be equated to to Chinese culture, Chinese history. Um, you know, they are the current governing party in China for um, you know for uh, since 1949. Um, but you know, they they do not represent Chinese. So it is important for um, people to understand and be reminded that. Uh, criticizing a regime, criticizing what a government does, uh, cannot be equated to criticizing the country itself, let alone criticizing the people who are of that ethnicity. Um, it's important that people understand that. Uh, I think uh, in this day and age that we're in, with a lot of false information and false narratives. A lot of people are trying to conflate and confuse this particular position. Uh, they would argue that uh, if you criticize um, us, uh, you're criticizing the country that we are controlling, that uh, not only that, and you're criticizing the people that, uh, that are under our control or not under our control. But unfortunately, my my assessment is that the the Chinese Communist Party um, lacks um, self confidence so much so that they would not even tolerate a you know any criticism. This this is why many you know hundreds of millions billions of people, except those who illegally install VPN, uh, these other people who lived under that control, they don't even know what they don't know. Um, they they are constantly fed with propagandas and false news and misinformations, and w whereas in Canada or the the Western world or the open societies, um, you know our YouTube you can actually find uh, pro China or in, in fact Chinese government propaganda existing on our social media. Um, the the foreign affairs uh, representatives in China are free to um, spew out all these false accusations and arguments on our Twitter sphere. When when people can even register in WeChat and speak freely without being worried about sanctions.